Today we're going to learn about the proportions of the face, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, how to draw a face properly. Now I'm guessing most of you when you draw a face, you kind of draw a circle, and you throw two eyes on there, and a nose, and then you like maybe some hair, and you call it a day. But I don't know any human being that actually looks like that, so um, we're going to fix this, and uh, I'll show you how to properly draw the face. Now these rules of proportion are um, some basic rules. Um, there's not a perfect science, but these are the basic proportions of the human face. Um, this will change from person to person um, because people have different facial features, like maybe they have a wider jaw or like drooping eyes or something like that. So um, these are just the basic rules. It's not a perfect science. Um, so what we'll start out with is, um, we'll start out with just a circle. And I like to draw nice and sketchy, okay, so that I can, it's easier for me to erase later on. Okay, now, um, what I know, uh, I don't know any human being who has a perfectly circular head like that. Um, so here's the first proportion. The top of your head is wider than the bottom of your head, where your chin is. So we're going to take this circle, kind of elongate it into an oval. Okay. There you go. And I've seen some people, they like draw a line down the middle, which you can do to help you try and um, get everything symmetrical from side to side. Okay. Um, and then, again, you'll see like different people have different facial features. I've seen um, some people like with a really squarish jaw um, I made the jaw and this, my little person, just kind of round, just so that we can go over the basic rules of the face. Um, but again, faces change from face to face. Okay, um, so what we're going to do now is, along this line here, um, I'm going to try to find about the center of it, okay? So I'm going to kind of just eyeball it, and that's about the center. And I want to draw a line going across that. Okay, and if it makes it easier for you, if it makes it easier for me too, I'll just get rid of that because I don't need this anymore. All right? Ooh, I'm draw it a little more flat than I did. <laughs> okay, so it's about halfway across this line, and then I want to find halfway again, which is about right there. Okay, and then halfway in between this line and the chin, which is about there. And I'll show you what all these lines mean. Okay. Now, here, right here, this is actually going to be our eye line. Now, um, from what I'm guessing, again, you probably drew faces like this, where you put the eyes up here on the face, on the head. Um, if you actually look at somebody's head, um, from the top of their head to their chin, you will see that the mm -hmm. eyes come right into uh, the center of their whole head, not the center of their face. I understand. The eyes are at the top of the face, but we have other stuff up here, like hair, that kind of covers the top of our head. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this eye line is I'm going to try to divide it up into about about five equal spaces, okay? I'm just going to eyeball it. Alright, um, now the reason I did that is because the width of your eye is actually like, um, one eye width is actually uh, is about one-fifth of the width across your face. So basically if I took the width of my eye, I could fit five eyeballs across my face. Again, um, some people, the, the basic way of doing a face that we all kind of run to is like this. We draw a circle and we draw two huge eyes, but our eyes aren't that big in proportion to the rest of our face. They're actually really small. Um, so you have to be able to fit about five eye widths across. Now, um, please don't do this. Actually, look at what you're doing. Do not go, okay, I'll make five divisions across the face. And they're not the same size. You're making the eye width way too big. The division, the it should be about five equal spaces across the face. Not two huge ones and then three small ones. So just do your best to kind of divide it. You don't have to break out a ruler. Do your best. Okay. 
and then I'll come in and I'll draw an eye, which <coughs> I think the shape of an eye kind of looks like a lemon or an almond. Be good. We can give this person some eyebrows. Okay. Um, now this line right here is going to be our nose line. And what I mean by that is that um, the bottom of the nose is going to sit on this line. So all I'm going to do is. circle shape and that's going to show the, um, the bottom of our nose and then I'm going to kind of trace down from oh, the sides of the eye right here and then that'll kind of show us where our nostrils should go. really want to get technical. Now I know the nose isn't that wide. This isn't like the bridge of the nose. Um, the bridge of your nose comes down from your eyebrows and you can even feel it. See? You can kind of draw some scoopy little lines down from your eyebrows and then it'll start to look more like a nose. Okay. And then what we're going to do is this will be our lip line. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is the bottom of the lip sits on that line. Okay, and usually the width of the mouth comes from about the center of the pupil of the eye. Now some people have like pouty or fuller lips and they're a little, uh, they're not as wide. Some people have like thinner lips that kind of stretch out a little further. Depends on the person. So this is a basic um, rule of where the lip should go, but the bottom of the lip should, the bottom of the bottom lip should sit on that line. And then you can kind of go in and And it, again, it depends on the person. In the Borges family, we have tiny little mouths, thin little lips. Um, we make fun of my dad who say he has chicken lips because chickens don't have lips. Um, but other people um, um, kind of have fuller lips. There we go. Okay, and then um, in between the eye line and the nose line is where the ears are going to go. So if I go up to the eye line, I'm going to start drawing my ear. I'm going to pull up. And then the bottom of the ear will rest on that nose line. Okay. So again, we'll start at the eye line, pull it up a little bit, show the top of the ear, and then we'll swing this line down. And the bottom of the ear, the lobe, sits on this nose line right here. Okay. And then when I'm done with that, I can come in and give this person some hair. I think I'm going to give him the old Justin Bieber look. Ooh.